Hang on a minute. Whenever I wear this dress, I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about it. Maybe that's, is that better? Yes, much better. Okay, now, I don't even have to ask this question, and the question I'm going to ask it anyway is, do you like sports? Okay. Um, now, I know you played soccer when you were younger. Okay, but that's not your game now. Okay. Um, everybody knows Nora's game is tennis. Okay? And so uh, we know what your favorite sport is. Um, do you think, and, and this is not bragging, okay, do you think you're pretty good at it? Yeah. Yeah, getting better. Getting better with practice. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, not everyone is good at tennis. Okay, I don't practice, okay? Nobody ever showed me how to play it. It wasn't something that I did. There were other sports that I enjoyed more, okay? Today I have a story about a boy named Thomas who was pretty bad at all kinds of sports, okay? You know kids like that? More in elementary school, I think. Sometimes in gym, now you're in gym, you know, some kids just don't have it, and it's kind of sad. So, um, but you know something? Thomas really liked to read, okay? So Thomas looked up from his book as his teacher announced to the class, it's time for recess, we're going to play softball. Jacob, you and Mary will be the team captains today. Oh no, Thomas thought to himself, if Jacob and Mary are choosing their teams, I'm probably going to be the last one chosen as usual. As he stood with the other children on the playground, Thomas tried to pretend it didn't bother him when the other children were chosen one by one, and he was left behind. But the truth was, it really hurt his feelings. I wish just once I could be the first one chosen, Thomas whispered to himself. I hope this has never happened to you, but the truth is that it happens to most of us at one point or another. Surely there must be a better way to choose teams. Okay. I know some teachers or some PE teachers people do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay, where everybody gets, you don't have to choose teams, okay. All of the ones would go to one side, all of the twos on the other side. This way, no one is the last one chosen. Our Bible lesson today is about being chosen to be in God's family, would you like to be in God's family? I think everyone here, at least, would like to be in God's family. In fact, we would like everyone in the world to be a part of God's family. The good news is that the way Thomas's classmates chose their teammates is not how God chooses his family. God chooses everyone who accepts Jesus as their Savior. The Bible tells us that before he even made the world, God loved us and chose us. He already knew who would choose to accept Jesus. Anyone and everyone can be in God's family by placing their faith in Jesus. God welcomes and wants everyone to be a part of his family. When we confess our sins and put our trust in Jesus, we become God's adopted children. And he makes everything work out according to his plan for us. I am so glad that God chose me to be a part of his family. How does it make you feel that God wants you to be a part of his family? Happy, it should give you a warm feeling in your heart to know that you are a part of God's family. Okay, can we close our hands and bow our heads for a short prayer?
Dear God, we thank you so much for choosing us to be a part of your family and for sending your Son, Jesus, so that we can choose to be a part of your family. In Jesus' holy name, all the children said, Amen. Amen.